Hola. Tacoma Star, mi amigos. <laughs> That's about as much Spanish as I know. Um, so it's, what, 11.15 here in California, IA, and I'm getting my first little cup of coffee. So it's going to be a late night for this guy. And the reason it's going to be a late night is, well, besides that I'm on vacation, and I can't do that, <laughs> but uh, is research. Um, I'd probably say in the past year, I've taken the, my TTM hobby a little bit more serious than I have in the past. In the past, I would just get a stack of cards, and if I could find their address within 30 seconds, I'd send it to them. If I couldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, it didn't matter if I liked them, didn't like them. That's just how I did it. Um, I'm not saying that's the wrong way. It's probably not the smartest way. Um, but it's nothing wrong with it. I did it for years and years. As a matter of fact, I did it since I was like 12. I did it like that. Um, but as you get older, um, a lot of times you, you get, we'll not say smarter, we'll say you get wiser. And um, you learn different tactics and different writing styles maybe different ways to get addresses um, you learn how to treat people um, better and when you treat people better they're more opt to help you out you know if I'm an asshole to this dude and he gets in a man, I don't know a Hank Aaron TTM you think he's gonna give me that address no he's not so as you get older you just learn different tricks here and there, but um, kind of got off topic. We're going to talk about research. Um, so a lot of you guys know I'm a huge die-hard Texans fan. Um, I like to think I'm the biggest Texans fan in the YouTube community. So that's kind of a <laughs> a big feat there. So um, I'm always doing research on trying to find new guys I can write to new guys I can send stuff to um, and all that good stuff so this whole video is going to be about different ways to do research um, advice and stuff like that uh, I'm definitely not the oldest and wisest and most seasoned TTM or in the community um, not by far um, but you know maybe some of the stuff you could take on board and uh, maybe run with it who knows um, so what I do a lot is I look at the transaction reports this is for NFL and um, this is just me there's so many dudes on a football team you know you may not know that your second string or third string wide or tight end just took off to Kansas City hell you may not know for two three months um, now that it's the off season um, I look at the transaction report once a week, and I've looked at it once a week since the end of the Super Bowl, and there's been like two transactions in the NFL. Well, I haven't looked at it in two in two weeks because there was like nothing. So I looked at it about two hours ago, and I think there was 35 transactions. And two of those dudes in those transactions were guys that I've been looking for for a while. Um... So now I already know where they're going to be next year. Um, if they make the team out of mini camp or training camp, hell if I know. But my shit will be there at mini camp or training camp, wherever they're at. So that's that. Um, Twitter and Facebook, I'm like brand new to Twitter. Um, my buddy Justin Brooks in Pensacola kind of got me hooked on Twitter. He would tell me. You know, Twitter's like an autograph guy's best friend. These athletes and celebrities tell you where they're going to be, when they're going to be there. And um, Facebook, I'm kind of, well, I guess, a little older, so I've been on Facebook for a while now. But um, the reason I say that is reach out to different athletes, man. I mean, I'm not saying go look for Evan Longoria on Facebook. You know, my same buddy Justin Brooks um, got a hold of. Evan Longoria on Twitter. That doesn't mean he's gonna friend you or follow you. You know what I mean? So reach out to different players, and if they reach back, awesome, man. Um, I've already got a hold of one player 
on um, Twitter that said he'll be sending me some um, game used equipment. I've been on Twitter for like two weeks. So um, you have to be real tactful, man, on how you ask for stuff. You just don't say, hey, so and so, I'm so and so. Hey, can I have some of your game used shit? Doesn't work like that. You gotta be smart, use the old noodle. And um, Facebook. So I've already gotten, what, two or three autographs from ex Texans through Facebook. And once again, I have another athlete saying he's going to send me some stuff because um, I sent him some stuff. And I got a hold of him through Facebook. So there's that um, rumor mill. Um, this one's tough because it's called a rumor mill for a reason. Um, but there was, god darn, what was the guy? I can't remember the guy's name. There was a kicker um, t two seasons ago. He was an ex-Texan. He was only there for a year. He was only with the Texans for a year. And uh, he was a free agent for like two years. Well, I seen, I believe it was the Steelers signed him because their kicker got hurt. Um, and the week prior, it said that the Steelers were going to be looking at, you know, one, two, three, these three dudes, these three kickers. Um, so I had a photo, and I just sent it to the Steelers just for shits and giggles. If it didn't work, you know, I was out $2, big deal. Um, they signed his ass, and my photo came back signed, and they literally released him six days later because their starting kicker came back. So um, rumor mill, it's a little bit more risky. Um, actually, it's a lot, bit, a lot more risky, but it could pay off. Um, let's see. Colleges, um, a lot of athletes attend, not attend, a lot of athletes do functions with their college during their off seasons. Um, I wrote down just four of them off the top of my head. I mean, this, these four dudes took me like 30 seconds to come up with these. So I'm sure if I had another hour, I'd probably come up with another 10, 15 dudes. Um, but Steve, Steven Strasberg, he went to San Diego State University there in San Diego. Um, for the past two or, I believe it's three years, he's done a 5K, 10K run there on campus. You know what I mean? So if you're in the San Diego, Los Angeles, you know, that area, what have you, you know, go there and get his autograph. Um, I've talked to the head baseball coach and a couple different guys on campus over the past couple of years when we would go down there and see the Aztecs play and they's like, dude, he just signs and signs and signs until the run starts and once the run's over he does his little PR thing because it's the Steven Strasburg 5K, 10K and then he signs more. Um, so, I mean, that's that. Lance Berkman, um, he's big Rice University guy. Um, it will not surprise me if he doesn't sign some kind of deal with the Houston Astros that he that he goes as an, an uh, uh, and he goes in as an assistant coach for the Rice Owls. Um, that dude is big, big alumni guy. Um, he always has been. Um, so there's it. Um, Jose Batista. Um, I didn't know this until like last month when a couple of my buddies in Pensacola told me that um, it's like every year for the past four years, I believe. Jose Batista has a hitting camp or a baseball camp at his junior college or college. Um, I don't remember what it is, but they got like four or five of his autographs a couple weeks ago. And then um, David Carr, the um, ex Texans number one draft pick. Um, he's here in Fresno. His brother goes to Fresno, and he's once again a huge alumni guy. Um, I just started following him on Twitter. And uh, I think I've been on Twitter for about a month now. Yeah, about a month. And um, about every three or four days, dude, he's posting something to do with the Fresno Bulldogs. He's saying, hey, last night I was at this game. Hey, tonight I can't wait to see the ladies' basketball team play, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so research, research, research. Um, like I said, I spent two hours and I found two dudes that um, I definitely definitely will be hitting up and I'm pretty confident that I'll hear back from them so um, and that was off a transaction report so now 
once I get off the um, old camera, I'm going to go team by team to the NFL and look at every player and see what else I can find. So if I get another two, three players, it's worth it to me. You know, if I find nothing, it blows ass, but then I know, hey, there's nothing there, so I don't have to do that again. So that's that. Um, I have some TTMs here. I'm not going to show. I'm just going to keep this video just kind of random thoughts, but um, I probably won't do a video for a couple days since I've done so many here lately. So um, thanks, thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope it's maybe food for thought. I normally don't do videos like this. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know if possibly at all this helped. <laughs> I don't know. Um, sorry, my little guest guest star can't be here. He's in bed. So um, that's it, guys. Adios.